Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Drifter from Team Legacy. Um, Alright, so, I'm going to explain two critical things in Gran Turismo 7. I stated in one of my videos that the used car dealership was broken, but I actually discovered how it worked. Um, I put a comment on that video, but I'm going to go over a video and kind of like break it down how it works. Same with the legendary cars. And I'm going to explain how engine swaps work. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to get one, but first, let's explain engine swaps and then I'll talk about the used car dealership so basically when you're grinding through the game and you're doing your cafe stuff you'll get roulette tickets that is how you obtain the engine swaps is through the roulette tickets you do not get them through the tuning shop I don't know if I broke this down in another video but that's basically how you get them and then you're able to put those engines that you obtain in cars that are able to I guess basically accept the motor um, I believe from what people are saying, they are on the roulette tickets from like the four star up to the six stars um, or whatever like that. And that's basically how you get them, man. But like I've been kind of getting shitty luck with the roulette tickets. I'm at collector's level 30 and I've only been getting like one and two star roulette tickets at that level. So like I have no idea what level you have to be to get the four stars and higher. Like I wish they would make a way to get more than just one roulette ticket a day after you finish the cafe stuff because 26 point something miles for the daily workout when you get them is kind of dumb but yeah anyway on to the used car dealer so basically i was thinking this stock would change daily like you would you know like the entire stock would rotate daily that's what i thought but basically it's kind of a shitty setup and it takes a long time for the damn cars to change out. So basically what you have to do when you see these cars that are getting to, that says limited stock, that basically means they're about to sell out. And basically you have to wait for a car to be completely sold out like this one in order for the stock to change are to rotate now there are ways that you can kind of speed this process up like if you know a lot of people that play Gran Turismo 7 you can be like hey you know do you have this car that's you know limited stock it's about to be gone and you can just tell those people to buy it you know like if you want it to change oh but I mean it's kind of crazy right now you know like the only two I really don't have are like these two right here which I kind of want the newer Renault, not the old school one, but I might grind it out and buy it. I don't know, but I don't have the Porsche either. But yeah, that's that's basically what has to happen. You have to wait for the, the cars to completely sell out and then wait an entire day after they, they're sold out for it to change. So probably knowing my luck, the only car that will change for me later will be the Mercedes SLS AMG and then it's pretty much the same thing with the legend uh, car dealership like I don't know why it's only like five cars in the legend car dealership but I mean you know I guess they're because they're rare so like these two are getting ready to be sold out and then this one right here is sold out so that one should change and then these two will probably sell out today and you know I have to wait until tomorrow evening for them to refresh but anyway that's how engine swaps work and that's how the used and legend car dealerships work like I said I kinda wish they would update that and make it you know like actually like the entire stock change daily like that would make more sense that way you don't have to like wait forever to get a car that you want to show up in the used car dealership but it is what it is you know like I guess it works like a like a real life used car dealership is probably why they did it but the biggest disappointment for me has to be how you obtain engine swaps I mean you know like this is something that the community has been wanting for a long time and then you know like they just they throw it in the game, they don't let nobody know it's in the game, All you know, like the way people found out was the Volkswagen Beetle with the Porsche motor, and then they go and they hide it behind these stupid roulette tickets, man, also, like, that's, on, that's the only way you can get, like, certain performance parts, man, like, as a stage 4, stage 5 weight reduction, stuff like that, like, it, it's kind of ignorant, man, like, this is supposed to be a game, you know, like, 
where you collect cars, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, like, your cars, you're supposed to be able to build them how you want, you know, like, I hate to say it, man, like, I'm a PlayStation person, but honestly, I think Forza does that better, man, but we'll just have to see how the game goes along, you know, like, if they'll change how you get the engine swaps, maybe they'll update it to where you can just buy them from the tuning shop, you know, for, like, a certain amount of price, you know, different prices for different motors, etc like to me that would make more sense but um yeah other than that great game i'm enjoying it i've been <laughs> losing a lot of fucking sleep playing this game just you know running random races daily with, like with different cars trying to grind money out upgrade the cars that i do have but um anyway if this video uh helped you out in any way go ahead and drop a like button subscribe i'm still working on learning how to drift i'm getting a little bit better so uh, once I, you know, kind of get that figured out, because like I said, I'm working with a PS4 controller, but once I figure that out a little bit better, uh, maybe I'll upload some videos of me drifting or attempting to drift. But anyway, yeah, if you like the video, um, hit the like button, um, subscribe, you know, I'll be bringing out more info, trying to keep y'all updated, you know, like with the current updates, man, this one was just kind of a patch. Like they added some new songs, man, they fixed some issues, but that's about it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Peace.